and I'm back with another Pikachu and Zekron deck, like a week after my previous one. And why am I doing this? Because Kant took this Pikachu list all the way to first place at the latest Sunday Open, which was Darkness Ablaze Legal, and they beat ADP Zation, Vitavolt, Senti Storch, Lutario Melmetalization, and Baby Blowns, and then in the finals they took back-to-back -to -back wins against ADP Zation. And they did all that with only two brand new cards from Darkness Ablaze. The biggest one is definitely Vita Volt. On your first turn going second, you can easily use Paralyzing Bolt. That does 50 damage, and during your opponent's next turn, they can't play any item cards from their hand. And the 50 damage is relevant because you play one Electra Power and you're knocking out a Jirachi, and that is always very good to do on the first turn. The only other new card from Darkness of Blaze in the list is Bird Keeper. That one, it's mainly, I think, for the Vita Volt matchup because Vita Volt shuts off your items. So you can't use your four copies of Switch, you can't put an escape board in play, you can't play Tag Call, you can't do any of that. So you just have Bird Keeper, which lets you switch and draw, and then Malo and Lana, which lets you switch and heal. But aside from those two cards, that is it. I contemplated making a slight adjustment by, you know, getting rid of one of the energies and adding in Crobat V, but I wanted to keep the list as, as exactly as it was played. But if you want to make some changes in the week before rotation, I'd say just cut one of the energies and add a Crobat V. That just helps with the consistency. But I'm going to take the list as it is, and we're going to see how it does today on PDC Geo. And let's see if this is actually Eternatus or if they just have the deck box and the deck sleeves, which are really nice. And I think with the inclusion of Vika Volt, you always want to go second now. It doesn't matter what you're playing against, you just always want to go second and get that Vika Volt off. Uh, this would have been an awkward hand if I had started something like Jirachi. But I'm going second, want to get off that Vika Volt play. And just, I think Crobat V really adds to the explosiveness of the deck on turn one. You know, it, it you only play four quick wall, but with tag call, you can use tag call to get your tag teams. Okay, so if Thunder Mountain's in the deck, I just have it. Uh, Bolt Hunt has a two retreat cost, so I think I just put V to Volt V in the active, and and maybe my opponent doesn't really know what I'm playing either, because they might think, oh, this is a V to Volt V deck, and then okay, so it's Eternatus, so they're gonna have. They're going to have to do a lot this turn to prepare for what I'm going to do next turn because Eternatus relies on, you know, Great Ball, Quick Ball, Pokecom. It relies on a lot of stuff to get itself powered up and ready to go. And so they have Eternatus VMAX. Well, that is interesting. So I think I just put the, well, hang on. If I Quick Ball the Estate Board, I mean, I can Guzma and Hala. I can guarantee some things, but I think I want to just speed lightning first. Okay, so I have Thunder Mountain. <laughs> That's pretty obvious. I'll put that down. I will probably hold on to the reset stamp. I will get rid of the Guzman Hollow. The deck plays two of them. And yeah, that, that is, I will say, Eternatus VMAX has not been seen uh, finishing near the top at any of the tournaments that are pre-rotation just because it gets a lot better post-rotation. Right now it's not great. And if you're shutting off their items and they don't have any bench basic Pokemon, uh, they're kind of done. So let's go to game two with the Vita Volt led Pikaram deck. Okay, something fun that happened when I was testing this deck, you know, obviously I don't need a ton of testing with Pikaram since I did a, a bunch of it a week ago, but something fun that happened is I played against Tricky Jim. You know, I queued up against Enjoy Friend. Oh, well, I think I have to, yeah, I have to put Jirachi in the active. As much as I'd want to put the Vita Volt down, I don't have anything else going on in the hand. You know, there's a lot of ways I could have made this work, but yeah, can't make that work without Jirachi. So this could be the com... Oh, uh, we're, we're not going to watch this, are we? Oh, well, yeah, Vita Volt. Well, let's see how important Vita Volt is in this matchup, because if they can't play their items, they can't play Crushing Hammer, I just... I literally just paralyzing bolt 20 turns in a row, and I think that's a win, right? So there's Guzma and Hala. I can get a skateboard, speed lightning, thunder mountain. So I think, uh, well, I'll see what Jirachi gets me just in case. So there's quick ball. Uh, yeah, I'll get the quick ball just to be safe. I mean, the great catcher I think is useless. 
So I will get rid of the great catcher and that. So I have, yeah, speed lightning, a skateboard, a thunder mountain, and that's probably going to be game. I don't know how they recover. I mean, let, let's see what happens when, when this happens. Okay. So I really don't want to bench anybody else is the problem. So I just, because they can't do anything. The only thing they can do is Articuno, and if they Articuno, I should be okay. You know, my thought process was I put another Pokemon down. I use Tapu Koko. I have the Energy Switch play available if necessary. That is totally fine. Uh, they have Mareep, but I can play. I can play my items. They can't play their items, and Mareep only has 50 hit points. And they're getting rid of my Escape Board. Wow, so that is quite the turn. So what I can do, I mean, I'm going to Paralyze and Bolt again. That's obvious. I think I just keep Paralyzing Bolt. Because they can't play Switch. They can't put an Air Balloon down. Uh, okay, so I can, I can Tag Call for my other Guzma and Hala. I can get my other Escape Board. There's a Mallow and Lana, that would also work. So, I mean, they're not going to have another Faba. So I think I just tag tall for Guzma and Hala, and like, yeah, I don't, I don't need a peak ROM. So I have Tapu Koko, I have, I'm down two Electro Power, so that's why I haven't seen any. I have another Skateboard. So there's not really anything they can do at this point. Uh, I think it is worth attaching just in case they play like Giratina or something. And then I Guzma and Hala, the Pitaram, and the Quick Ball. I go get Speed Lightning, Big Charm. Oh, can't do that. So Speed Lightning and a Skateboard. And yeah, I have Marshadow if I ever need to bump the Stadium. I don't think I need to do that. And just Paralyzing Bolt. The very boring Paralyzing Bolt. And I think... I think they're going to concede. You know, why would they keep going at this point? I'm not going to play any more cards than I have to. Uh, I'm knocking out this Mareep. You know, if, maybe if they put down an Absol, I'd be in trouble, but I'm not. Uh, I mean, they can Oranguru all day long. That's fine. Oh, they're going to do that. Well, they're going to be super annoying. And this is why you don't play Mill, is because you just waste people's time. You know, I have... I have zero problems with Mill in a tournament situation. I have zero problems with that. It's just on PDCGO, I just, I don't want to face it. It's not interesting to me. And I actually woke up from that, so that's kind of funny. And I don't think they can ever get their Marie back. And they, they can't play any more Polka Doll. They can't get their Marie back. You know, maybe they play multiple Marie, but they can't use Tool Scrapper. They can't put more Polka Dolls down. There's literally nothing they can do. Like, oh, they have another Marie. Okay, so that's the only thing they can do. But what what did they how'd they get out of the active last time? But I mean, what can they what are they hoping to accomplish? I'm I'm curious. How does how does Mill beat V Revolt V when they can't play their items? So Ditchingization, getting Faba. Well, that is annoying. So I'm going to have to start attaching to attaching to the Jirachi. There's a tag call, so I just... I mean, if they can just keep recycling their dude or sin, that would be annoying, but I think they're probably not going to Marnie me. I just, I just keep doing the same thing. The boring old same thing. Uh, I have Milo and Lana, I have Switch, they're going to put me to sleep, that's fine. Don't tell me they have a freaking third Marie. Good, okay, so once this Marie goes down, that's that's the end of the game. They're probably going to retreat into somebody, so that's not a recycle energy, so they're not getting that one back. They're going to retreat probably into one of the Oranguru, I would assume. Lieutenant Surge's strategy... 
biloba and bryce man so they're starting the milling process which is interesting so i guess i should go and get i guess i should go and get tapu coco because i'm gonna need tapu coco most likely so i didn't wake up that is fine uh so i'll speed lightning the jirachi yeah, that's fine. I didn't get to draw any cards. Uh, see, I'm just switching into Jirachi. And then Retreat. And yeah, I think I want to just get, get Tapu Koko preemptively. I know I don't want to thin too many things. Uh, just get a preemptive Tapu Koko. Uh, but I mean, they probably have another Slumbering Forest, right? Because so I have Mallow and Lana, that's fine. Yeah, just paralyzing both. The the fun continues, and I will cut to the end of the match uh, at this point. So I'm going to, you know, whether it takes five minutes, whether it takes an hour, I'm going to cut to the end of the match, and we'll see what happens. Okay, so I think we're in the end game now. They have they used Belalba and Bryson Man to bump their Zation V, which was a good move because I can't use bosses on it. Uh, but I'm just going to knock out their Rangaroo. They can't reuse it, so that's just game. So I think they just lose because they have three cards in their deck. I'm going to knock out their Rangaroo. They can't switch into it. And there's just nothing they can do. So that is game. It was very boring. They kept using Biloba and Bryson Man. You know, I have 11 cards left in deck. I didn't play anything. I'm all set up. I have a Super Zap Cannon. I have my Jirachi with an energy on it. They're just going to try and put me to sleep, but I have Mallow and Lana. That is their only hope is that I just don't got it. Uh, and that is game. So this is why I toughed it out is because I wanted to see can v v really actually shut down Mill right now. And yeah, it, Mill still has a lot of things it can do between Intrepid Sword and stuff like that. Because, you know, Lieutenant Surge's strategy. Oh, so they're just... They're gonna they're gonna call it themselves. They're they're going out under their own power. Uh, so yeah, they have to draw three cards. So they have zero cards left in deck, and they're gonna lose by decking themselves out because they can't use primate wisdom. So I, I have two win conditions right now. You know they they got a lot closer than I thought they would. Only eight cards left in my deck, but that is game. I will just you know they wasted my time. I'm gonna waste their time. Then I retreat and I use Super Zap Cannon, so I'm gonna win by taking prizes. And I'll go to game three right away because this was boring and I wanna actually face something that tries to attack me. So I didn't actually really even start my story, so I faced Tricky Jim. With the Pikaram deck earlier today, don't want to go first. Well, I guess mean, it's probably ADP Zation, so I probably should have gone first, but there's, there's Tweak of Old again. So I faced Tricky Jim, but he was playing High Dragon with Greninja and Zoroark and Umbreon and Darkrai. Uh, it, it was a stage two deck. He never got a High Dragon into play, so it was just a quick win. It was unfortunate, but I think that was the first time I'd ever been able to get a match you know, recorded against Tricky Jim, but it, it wasn't worth uploading or anything just because it was a stage two deck that never got a stage two. Uh, and this could be tough. Uh, yeah, they're getting the energy, so this is, this is definitely gonna be a little tough. And I don't know, I think in this situation, you abandon the V2Volt V strategy and you just go with Pikaram because this is going to escalate real quickly. v v is just a really big target, and I don't want to have it on the field. Uh, wow, they're having an amazing first turn. That is insane. And that's the that's the power of Crobat-V and a Denny GX. So you can use both of them in the turn. The problem for them is that they have bench-locked themselves. Nothing else is going to come down. So if I play my reset stamps correctly, if I can do some things, I can do some things. And, you know, I, I finally finished my Tricky Jim story, and I'll finish my Mill story in a little bit. Okay, so I think I hold off on using Jirachi. Really hope that 
Tapu Koko and Thunder Mountain are in the deck. Thunder Mountain's in the deck. Speed Lightning, that's good. That's all good. So Tapu Koko's in the deck. It's unfortunate that I'm probably going to lose this energy switch. Uh, and this is where Crobat V would come in handy if I could get it into my hand. But because with the Denny, it's super destructive. Uh, I'll put that down. I will get rid of this to Denny. I am out of Denny the rest of the game. I'll go get Picarom. Uh, I could get Bolt Hunt, but I think that's also a mistake. The reason I think Bolt Hunt's a mistake is because you, you need some beefy Pokemon when you're facing ADP. You don't want to give them easy Pokemon to knock out. Uh, so I'm in a bit of a pickle here. Crobat V, be nice to just have that extra consistency. Uh, oh, okay. Well, I need a quick ball here. That's a tag call. That's not a quick ball. So things didn't go as planned. So I'll tag call for Choo Choo and probably uh, probably Mallow and Lana, sure. Okay, so I mean they have, uh, this thing has a two retreat cost. I didn't get a reset stamp or anything, that would have been nice. I didn't get really anything. I think I have to, uh, no, I mean they're just gonna use Alter Creation, right? So I should be okay. So Thunder Mountain has to stick. I have to get, wow, that, that was a, they had an amazing turn one. I had a horrible turn one. I had to get rid of my other to Denny. I had to get rid of my only energy switch. Uh, in retrospect, the Vita Volt V play would have been really smart. But I mean, you have to go for the big play here against ADP. And there's a Chaotic Swell. So the only way I can do this well, that's an interesting inclusion. The only way I can do this is if I get Tapu Koko, and I can get Tapu Koko. I have two energy, so I can go get Quick Ball, energy, and... Okay, so we're pretty much in the same position, because they still have to use Alter Creation, or else they're not going to have a good time against me. And I really don't care about the Marshadow, because I have no other uh, things. You know, thinking about the scenario, maybe I should have... Okay, well, it wouldn't have mattered. I was thinking maybe I should have Jirachi'd first and see if I get a Quick Ball, but I'm really low on Quick Ball. And I could Great Catcher the ADP. Oh, I had a Quick Ball in my hand. Well, I'm an idiot. That's that's what happens when you're talking and you're you're thinking of a million different things at once. So I'll go get Tapu Koko. Hopefully I don't get punished for this. Uh, what I can do is I can double Jirachi. It's a bad idea, but I can do it just to hunt for that great catcher. Uh, there's a bird keeper. So what's the what's the best thing to have for next turn? Bird keeper or Guzman Hollow? Probably bird keeper because I already have that reset stamp. Okay, so this is where it gets a little interesting. How important is it for me? to hit into this ADP. I have tw I, I, I can't take the risk. I wish I could take the risk, but I just can't at this point. So I will definitely full blitz. Who do I want to full blitz to is the question, because if I, I can tag bolt, but I think a tag bolt would be a really bad idea, so I think I, I'm going to probably use Lightning Ride GX. I think Lightning Ride GX is the smart play here. Oh, well, maybe it won't even matter. There's Crushing Hammer. Okay, so they have Cherish Ball. That's a useless card because they bench locked themselves. You know, they have to, you know, they don't have any damage buffs. They have to use Alter Creation or else they're just playing a long game. So, you know, if both Please of these decks were, oh man, please give me Tails. Oh uh, crap. Okay. Well, that's, I guess it doesn't really matter. I'm out of Tapu Koko, so it doesn't really matter which energy they target. So I'm in a position where I need an energy. I don't have any more to Denny. 
Uh, I might just have to use Tandem Shocked, which is totally fine. I am more than okay using Tandem Shocked. And it looks like they're preparing for me to knock out the Zation. Which is not in a position they want to be in. But yeah, like if both of our decks were firing on us cylinders, they had a great turn. Well, that's tough, but yeah. The way things were working out, if I knocked out that Zation before they altered creation, there's not really anything they could have done. So I will take that win. It would have been, you know, probably five to six more minutes before I would have won. But yeah, just with Lightning Ride set up, they hadn't used Altered Creation. They stuck themselves with that Zation. I'll go to the next game, and that will probably be the final one. All right, so to finish my thoughts off on Mill, you know, again, I have no problems with Mill in a tournament setting. You know, whatever cards you want to use in a tournament, as long as you win, I'm more than okay with that. It's just when you're on PTCGO and there's nothing at stake, I just don't like it. You know, take that. Oh, I think I've started v Volt V every single game here. Uh, well, I have Guzma and Hala as long as... I think this is, like, identical to another hand that I had. As long as Thunder Mountain isn't prized, I have the turn one Paralyzing Bolt and I can knock out a Jirachi. I uh, don't... You know, I can take a, take a wild guess as to what they're playing. Okay, let's see. Is it going to be ADP? Is it not going to be ADP? I should probably... I'll hold off on the... Nah, they might reset stamp me. I want, I want the Jirachi down just in case. And there's a Dust Main Necrozma. So this can do 60 damage to a GX. Uh, as long as I don't put a GX down, that's fine. Rusty Claws is really good at the end of a game because you do 200 damage. But that has two energy retreat. That is not what they want to start. They want to just Intrepid Sword for a lot right now. And I don't think I want to use Paralyzing Bolt right now. Well, I might not have a choice. So I can Faulkner for an energy and a switch. Okay, so that's that's the game plan. I don't think I shut off their items. I think I just go for energy and switch. Because, you know, there's there's a slight chance that I knock this dude out, but probably not. Okay, Stellar Wish, what do I get? Do I get a Tag Call? I get a Tag Call, so I have Pikaram. I have a bunch of things. I can get Pikaram and Choo Choo. I don't want to ditch my Electro Powers is the problem, so I think I just Tag Call for Pikaram and Choo Choo. I put the Bolt Hunt in the active, because I don't think this is ADP, so Bolt Hunt is more than a good option to just take a hit. I mean, if it gets knocked out, that's fine. Bolton, and then I think I just put both of them on the Picarom with Electrify. And a good scenario would be if they don't do anything, because then I can just Bolt Storm for the knockout or something. Okay, so the Frying Pan could be slightly annoying, and they are going to put some damage on the Picarom. You know, the dust shot, I should have remembered about it, but, I mean, if they want to target a Pikaram, okay. And they flip tails. It's always it's always a good day when your opponent flips tails on Crushing Hammer. You know, especially against Mill. Oh, jeez. They got another one. Please flip tails again. Okay. Well, that is not great. Maybe I should try to shut off their items. Okay, so the dust shot is really going to come into play now. I kind of forgot about that. That was my bad. I should have turned off their items and made this a much easier game for myself. So what I can do now is I can go get Speed Lightning, Thunder Mountain, and probably Big Charm. Uh, well, I mean, if they dust shot... I mean, Pikaram's within range of Zation, so Dust Shot, they'd probably go for the dude. I mean, I can boss as somebody? No, I think I just want to Guzman Hala. If I prized, 
If I prize Thunder Mountain or something, I think I can get away with that. Okay, so big charm is coming down. Okay, so I need a switch would be great. That is not a switch. So do I knock out the what is the smarter option? Do I knock out the dust main or do I electrify and try and power somebody else up? Uh, if I bolt storm, I'm doing a perfect knockout. And then next turn, I can full blitz onto the choo choo. I think this makes sense. And I think I put the big charm on. Uh, actually, maybe the Vika Volt. You know what? You're not going to marnie me. Okay, let's make sure. I got 40, 70, 100, 130. Yes, that would have been uh, a horrible situation. Okay, so I took a prize. It probably isn't going to mean anything in the long run here, but I did it. Uh, it just it prevented them from being able to soften up my choo-choo. And it puts me in a position where I can put them to one prize, or sorry, yeah, they will be one prize, I can stamp them really low, and then potentially they don't have a response, but this Jirachi is just a huge target. Alternatively, if they can't bump my stadium, I'm in just the best position. Because uh, what I could do is I could use Paralyzing Bolt. That is an option that I have. It would only do like 20 damage. Uh, okay, well they played their metal saucer, so I think that I think that strategy is is gone. They played two metal saucer. That strategy is definitely gone. So they have a Zation set up for next turn. They have. Okay, so maybe if if I oh my, what is going on? They had the greatest hand in the history of a Zation deck. They had three metal saucer. And they still had enough left in their hand to use Great Catcher. What? And I have my own Great Catcher. Okay, so I just Stellar Wish, get an Electra Power. That is horrible. So I definitely want to knock out a Zation. Um, turning off their items probably doesn't help me as much as I would like it to. So I need. I need the Tapu Koko. So I think I just put the big charm there. Do that. Do that. I, I can't leave the Zation though. That's the problem. If I leave the Zation just sitting here, like if I target the Dedenne and they have two Zations, that's just the worst case scenario. And, but I need to take prizes. So I'm just in a horrible dilemma right now of what do I do? I mean, I can bolt storm. You know what? I'm just going to do Denny and let it ride. I don't think I can actually win this one. They had an absolutely insane turn. Uh, I'm pretty confident I have lots of energy in there. Okay, so I will ditch the escape board, go get Tapu Koko, and I have Elder Goss. I forgot about Elder Goss, so that's really good. I can shut off their items if I want, but I don't think I want to do that. Okay. Is paralyzing them the best move? I think paralyzing them is the best move. Because I'm doing 160, that would be 40, 70, one, yeah. This is the, I think this is the best play. I can Mallow and Lana next turn if I have to. They're paralyzed. They need a switch. The only cards they have, the only cards they have in their hand are what they took off the prizes, plus their top deck. The metal frying pan doesn't matter. Just don't have a switch and we're totally fine. And my opponent, th this is the game you dream of if you're a Zacian player. You're facing Picaram and you just draw absolutely everything that you need. That is nuts. And if they hit this crushing hammer, I just have to, yeah, congratulations. This is, this was an insane game for my opponent. They, I don't even understand how they were able to do this well.
Oh, don't. Don't tell me to go three. Oh. Okay. And they had... Can... My mind cannot handle everything that just happened. Okay. So, what do I even do here? There's a Mallow and Lana. That's perfect. Uh, well, obviously, my energy is going to be really important here. So, I think I turn off their items if I can, but that would only deal like 20 damage. Uh, I need an energy switch. So who am I attacking with? That's the question. I can get the I can get it to 90 with the resistance. I think it survives. I have 21 cards left in my deck. I think I I really don't want to do this. I mean I can attack with Beak Revolt. Oh man. Okay, well, let's see what's left in my deck. I have Pikaram and Guzman Hala. I have Energy Switch. I have two reset stamp. Those will definitely come in handy. Okay, so I think my game plan here is that I want to attack with a two prizer. I can get rid of the Guzman Hala without worrying. I have a boss's orders if I need it. I have lots of energy. Okay, so this is what I'll do. I think I switch into Jirachi. Hello, okay. I... Get rid of the D Denny. I think that's the safe bet. Sure. Okay, so I healed 120 off that thing. I think I want to electrify or energy switch. There you go. There's an energy switch. So I think I just do the same thing I did because they cannot knock out a Raichu Raichu, right? They cannot knock this out. I think I'm okay. I have a boss's orders. Peter Rom doesn't need to come down. I energy switch to the Choo Choo. Really, in hindsight, probably shouldn't have gotten rid of the... Probably shouldn't have gotten rid of uh, the Denny. The Denny would be a great card to have right now. They're at 130. If I can... I can lightning ride anybody I want. I can... I can use Tandem Shock on that if I need to. But, I mean, when you're playing against some... Oh, they got rid of their Lucario Metal. That is so lucky. I mean, that right at the beginning when they used all their Metal... Well, they still have a Metal Saucer, though. And they have a Mallow and Lana. And I did the math incorrectly. Well, that was my fault. I I blew that one, but I mean, I, don't, I still don't think I was going to win that one. My opponent was drawing literally everything they needed to win that one, and they did win it. So I will sign off now. Picarom is still really good if they had just whiffed a crushing hammer, if they hadn't taken that Picarom knockout. If they don't see three Metal Saucers and a Great Catcher in the same turn, things work out for me. And yeah, so it was... It was Lucario Melmetal with Zacian and Zamazenta. And, you know, they hit on all their saucers. They hit on three out of four Crushing Hammers, I think. Their one great catcher they used perfectly. They had the Mallow and Lana. They had their frying pans. Just everything went perfect for my opponent. And, you know, sometimes that's just what happens. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.